There's two rainbows! Somewhere over the rainbow. I think it's about to bucket down. It's not all sunshine and rainbows living on the ocean. Your backyard really does have a mind of its own. In this episode, while Riley and I keep our eyes on the weather and looking for a new safe spot to anchor, you might just want to keep an eye out at home. Why? Because throughout this episode, we're going to fill you in on how we're giving away three catamarans to join us in the spring for the most epic regatta in one of our favourite places in the world. Sarah and the boys went into town this morning. We're gonna go and find them and quickly walk to the little grocery store that they have here to provision the boat before we maybe move spots. Riley wants to move spots now because he's more worried about the wind, but it's low tide. Well, we kinda have to. Like, uh, the wind's clocking around and we need, we can't stay here. I think it's about to bucket down. So how was it? It was good. Darwin was happy most of the time and then just as Riley called, he started making a few sounds. <laughs> now he's got a bottle, so all is good in his world. Okay, Lenny, we're going to have to come back. have to come back? Yeah, the lady's not here. The lady's not here? actually cannot wait for next sailing season. Sailing in the spring is our favourite time of year to sail the Bahamas. With This will actually be our third season sailing in the spring. And we actually really want to spend this spring sailing with you guys. We have something super exciting to tell you about today. We're going to be hosting a sailing regatta with the moorings. Probably a lot of you have already seen the moorings boats around. But for those of you that don't know who they are, the Moorings are an award-winning fleet of catamarans and have been around for over 50 years. We've featured these guys previously and we're pretty happy to be teaming up with them again. We wanted to say a massive thank you to these legends. They're going to lend Elena and myself to huge sailing catamarans and a power cat so that we can fill it full of you guys. And combined with La Vaga, we're gonna undertake a regatta in the Bahamas this spring, which we're pretty damn excited about. Keep watching and find out how you can grab a berth on one of these guys and sail with us for a week. I've been sitting around fretting all day. Honestly, there's not really anywhere perfect to go to, not no hidey hole that's perfect. I'm gonna go to this spot over here, probably someone's already anchored there, and we'll anchor and it'll probably be very uncomfortable during the day, but when it gets to night time, the wind will swing further north, hopefully, and then we'll be more protected. So less protected during the day and uncomfortable, but at night time, safer. Because we are moving at low tide, we're going to put the dagger boards down to level, which means level with our boat, but it's a metre draft. So if we do hit, it'll be the dagger boards that get hit and not our rudder. So we are going to be running a competition. It's super easy to enter. We have seven cabins to give away. You can think of our competition in two parts. Firstly, five cabins will be given away to people who enter our competitions, which will be conducted over on our Patreon. All you have to do is jump on over to our site, become a patron, and you'll have the chance to come sail with us. These competitions are going to be run over the next five weeks, starting in next week's episode, and will be kind of funny, test your knowledge of all things sailing the vagabond kind of competitions. Now for the second part. 
two more people will score a cabin by entering their email into the Moorings website. These two cabins will be drawn at the end of all five competitions. I'll put the link to their website below so you can enter today. Yeah, that's how exciting it is. It's cleared up a lot. That's the cold front over there. But the sun's come out. The sky is pretty much clear over this side. Even with a cold front, there's always somewhere you can snorkel. We know this little cave is going to go inside and then we're all going to hang out at the beach. Probably really nice there right now. So just a bit of a heads up. This isn't going to be an all-inclusive cruise. You're actually going to be manoeuvring your own boat. We kind of want you guys to live how we live. That's going to be a part of it. It's going to be one heck of an adventure. Saying that though, after we've picked all of the winners, if no one really wants to catch in the boat, we'll sort it out, we'll find someone. It'll be super chill. It's really easy here in the park. Just follow us, it'll be really easy. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. Look, the beach, we're going to this one. <laughs> actually never been on a big swing before. Okay, I'll get you off. What? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get Lenny out of the water. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot chocolate time, I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, bye. Mi amor. So, while there are essentially going to be strangers living on sailboats together, you'll soon learn that even after being together for one day, you kind of become like a little family and you get to know each other so well. Hopefully there's no weirdos, there shouldn't be. We seem to attract a good group of people, but. <laughs> Over the past seven years we've been sailing and sharing our adventures with you guys, we've had some awesome meetups. No matter the meetup, we're always amazed at your guys' enthusiasm for the ocean and support you show our channel. We can't wait to meet a whole new bunch of you and make some more memories. This is just going to be a super intimate, personal kind of regatta with four boats. Sailing in my favourite part of the boat. Yeah. Oh, the Bahamas. One of our favourite places in the world. Are you sick of hearing about it by now? Well, this is what you can look forward to. Cuba, Jamaica, oh, I'm going to take you Bermuda, Bahamas, come on all my pretty mamas, Montenegro, baby, why don't we go to Kokomo? We'll skip the fast and then we'll go a bit slow. That's where we gonna go, down to Kokomo. Worst effort I've ever seen at making a bed. Quick, come and watch this one. Oh, what is that? <laughs> 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 it's 
shooing my, <laughs> shooing my own horse. Look, watch. It's horse all restoration. <laughs> that is so weird. You don't even like horses. No, but this is, it's really good for me. Do you want to come and look at the rainbow? There's a rainbow outside. Oh, did you sleep well last night? You snuck off and annoyed mum this morning. I shouldn't have let you do that. Look at the rainbow. There's two! There's two rainbows! Wow! a workout this morning feeling good muscles are hurting a little bit but I'd never work my muscle groups I always love to run that's my thing but I gotta work my muscles too apparently or they're gonna disintegrate before I'm 50. I actually woke up this morning one of my earrings is missing I usually have two and I've only got one so I think I lost it free diving but yeah we would love to teach you guys how to free dive how to not lose your earrings and to live off the land hopefully you can get some fish while you guys are on board but if fish ain't your thing, don't worry, we are going to provision the boat with fruits and vegetables and grains and all the good things. So the seven winners will be able to pick whoever they want to come with them. You do get the whole cabin. I think I've maybe mentioned this before. So you can bring a friend or a partner. So all you guys have got to worry about is getting yourself here and we'll have a cabin here for you for seven days. You need a negative PCR test, wear your mask <laughs> on the plane. Wrap it if you're vaccinated. Wrap it if you're vaccinated. And, um, and you have to fill out some boring paperwork on their website. Oh yeah, which we didn't and then we got stuck, but yeah. that won't happen to you because you've been warned in it's advance. It's not super hard to get here. No, it's pretty easy. <laughs> you it just was, came from Canada, so. Yeah, it was pretty easy other than just doing the travel visa and then just making sure that I had a, everything ready, my rapid test and yeah. vaccine status. Cool, yeah. So I just spoke to those guys and they're leaving. I spoke to those guys and they were here last time when there was a bit of a Wesley and they said it was a disaster, like so bad in here. So I'm just downloading the weather on my beloved Predict Wind app again. It's, it looks like there's north in it. If there's north in it, it, it would mean that we're protected by those islands. If there's west in it, we've got 18 gusting to who knows what, 25 more in here and, it, and it's untenable. It, it would be unseemingly to be here. The wind could come from here, which would be a disaster. We're hoping that it's more north, um, which is why you can see more people have moved up this end of the anchorage, but some people are just leaving, which always makes me like, oh God. How are your oats going? I asked Elena if she wanted to help me do this. She was busy eating her oats. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the rain, going and doing some sounding with this. We're gonna throw it over the side of the boat and check the real world depths because we've got theoretical depths on our Navionics app and various other charts that we've got. But I wanna see if I can get further up here which means that we would be more protected. The further that we can get north into our little nook up here, the better it is. I kind of feel bad, but I also kind of don't. I was starving and I needed oats and he wanted to measure the depths right now. And it's raining. So that's on the bottom there. That would be about 1.8. Okay, now I feel terrible. <laughs> so that would be about 1.5 there. I think that we could come in here. And then, it, yeah, as I said, it, it just gets more and more protected. How are your oats, darling? I haven't been lazy while you've been so wet, if that's what you are. That is absolutely what I'm implying. 
So we're moving spots again. 1.2 meters here. Let's not run aground, hey? Just got to 1.1 meter, which is we're one meter. Westerly, exactly like we didn't want it, and it feels like in this anchorage here, like we're in the middle of the Atlantic, there are catamarans that are moving like this. I'll, I'll be able to film that in the daytime. That this is, it's, it could be worse, but this is like very, very uncomfortable. I'm worried about other boats dragging anchor as well, because if we drag anchor, we're going to end up on the rocks over there. As water slaps the hull, or I don't know if you can hear the noise of the wind at the moment, but it just fires off from the pit of your stomach. All of this adrenaline just shoots around your body and what like, sleep is just impossible. <laughs> How was your night? Oh my God. I bet a couple of people thought that I looked pretty stupid yesterday, going around on my little tender, dropping down my anchor, sounding manually. In the rain. Don't look very stupid now, do I? Well, we're still rocking around. Just as much as we're there. in the best spot in the anchorage. Yeah, that, that is true. Now, if you guys want to come in spring, you won't have to deal with any of that. <laughs> It'll be all smooth sailing and we'll be regattering here in the Bahamas. It's pretty funny, we're going to have a regatta. <laughs> we're really looking forward to hosting. It's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. We love you all and we'll see you out very, very soon.